welcome to the course of structure analysis so in this lecture we are going to see the topic that is related to the degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy of beams frames as well as your uh, trusses now coming to the contents part so here these are uh, some of the co contents we are going to discuss in this lecture so first we are going to see what the statically determinate structure is and then what is a indeterminate structure then what is the indeterminacy of a structure what do you mean by indeterminacy and then you are going to differentiate between the static and kinematic indeterminacy and then uh, degree of indeterminacy you are going to take an example for a beam and you are going to solve and then degree of static indeterminacy for a pin jointed process and similarly degree of static indeterminacy for a rigid jointed frame Similar way for the kinematic indeterminacy, we are going to see for a pin jointed trusses as well as a rigid jointed frames. Now coming to the statically determinate structure. So when we can call any structural system to be a statically determinate. So statically determinate is nothing but uh, any structural system that can be analyzed using only the equations of static equilibrium. Uh, that means your reaction components and internal stress components can be calculated by using only the static equilibrium conditions. So then you can call the structure to be a statically determinate structure. And uh, here you can see some of the examples like cantilever beam and then simply supported beam and then a uh, simple warren truss and then uh, cantilever bent frame. So here, whatever the reactions that you are getting, so those reactions or uh, unknowns you can call. So these can be solved by using the static equilibrium conditions. So this is your statically determinate structures. Now coming to the next one, that is statically indeterminate structures. So the structures which cannot be analyzed only by using the static equilibrium conditions alone, so then the structures are called as statically indeterminate structures. Now you can see the examples like uh, proper cantilever beam, fixed beam, and uh, portal frames, then uh, warrant truss, and uh, next continuous beam. So here, uh, whatever the unknowns you are getting, uh, so there are more, uh, more when compared to the static equilibrium conditions. So you cannot uh, solve by using only the statical, static equilibrium conditions. So that is the reason these all structures are considered as a statically indeterminate structures. Now coming to the indeterminacy of structures. So indeterminacy can be divided into uh, two types. Uh, one will be static indeterminacy and another will be a kinematic indeterminacy. So in static, again, you're having the two types that is external indeterminacy and internal indeterminacy. Now in detail, we'll just see what do you mean by a degree of static indeterminacy and degree of kinematic indeterminacy. So coming to the static indeterminacy. So in the static, we have a number of redundant forces. That means static indeterminacy will talk about the redundant uh, forces or the reactions, whatever that can't be found only by using a static equilibrium conditions alone. Uh, whereas degree of kinematic indeterminacy is nothing but uh, it is the number of movements, movements of a joint, if you just consider. Uh, that means we can call this as a degree of freedom also. Uh, with which the kinematic configuration of overall structure can be defined. So here the unknowns are nothing but your uh, independent movements of the structure. Whereas in the static indeterminacy, the unknowns are related to the uh, redundant forces. So this is denoted degree of static indeterminacy. It is denoted by ds. Whereas degree of kinematic indeterminacy, it is uh, denoted by dk. And this degree of static indeterminacy is also known as degree of redundancy, whereas this degree of kinematic indeterminacy is also known as degree of freedom. And this static indeterminacy uh, will show the number of additional equations that are going to solve the system. And this kinematic indeterminacy shows the number of unknown joint deformations. So this talk about the forces and uh, this talk about the 
um, joint deformations. And uh, external, this uh, degree of static indeterminacy, as we know that uh, it is related to external indeterminacy and uh, internal indeterminacy. So external indeterminacy, we'll talk about the support system of the structure. That means reactions part. Whereas internal indeterminacy will be related to the internal stresses in the members of the structure. So that means it will be related to the member forces. So this is all about the difference between your uh, static and uh, kinematic indeterminacy. Now coming to this uh, slide. So this we just talk about uh, some types of the supports and how many the unknown reaction components are there for this support and what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. Now coming to this uh, free end support, as it is a free end, there will be no reaction component. Uh, but whereas coming to the kinematic indeterminacy, that is related to the movements of the joint. So free end, uh, it is going to be free in all the three directions. So it is a degree of kinematic indeterminacy will be three. Whereas coming to the simply support or roller end, we just consider. So for this, you are going to have only one upward reaction. So that means the reaction, number of unknown reaction components will be one. Whereas... Uh, it is going to be uh, um, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy here will be 2 for this uh, roller support. And uh, whereas coming to this hinge support, so here you are having two reactions at the hinge. So one is horizontal and another is vertical. So it is free to rotate actually. So therefore the kinematic indeterminacy here will be theta. And whereas delta B delta A will be 0 at this support. And whereas coming to the fixed support, so here for this fixity condition, we are going to develop uh, three internal uh, stress resultants that is horizontal, vertical, and moment. Therefore, the unknown reaction components here are three, whereas the degree of kinematic indeterminacy will be zero. Why? Because it is restrained in all directions. Therefore, it doesn't have any uh, rotation and it doesn't have any translation. So here the kinematic indeterminacy will be zero. Now coming to the degree of indeterminacy, for a beam, I just taken an example of proper cantilever beam. So degree of static indeterminacy when we calculate for this. Um, so this is a proper cantilever. So number of reactions for this fixed support will be three and the number of reactions for this roller support will be one. So therefore total reaction components are four. Therefore, the degree of static equilibrium, uh, static indeterminacy is uh, number of reaction components minus uh, static equilibrium conditions. So, static equilibrium conditions here are 3. Therefore, it is 4 minus 3 and the degree of static indeterminacy will be 1. Whereas, coming to the degree of kinematic indeterminacy, so here we have taken a proper cantilever beam. So, for this proper cantilever beam, if you just observe, so for this fixed support, there will be no rotation and there will be uh, no translation. Whereas coming to this B support, as it is a roller support, um, here the displacement will be zero, but here the rotation is going to occur. Therefore, the kinematic indeterminacy here will be uh, delta B. Sorry, theta B. So now, now coming to the next slide. Uh, so, it is a degree of static indeterminacy for a pin jointed plane frame example. So, to get the pin jointed, so now what we are going to see is um, generally uh, there are joint J joints in a pin jointed plane frame. So, for three members, we require three joints to be three joints should be there. So, that means it is going to form a basic triangle. So, three joints and three members. So it is a pin jointed plane frame. So now we require two more members for connecting another joint. So for suppose if you just take uh, another joint here, I'm taking a D as another joint. So to join another two members, so we require uh, one joint for the already formed triangle. So here the triangle is already formed. So to join another two members, one joint is required. So this is a D joint. Now I'm joining these two uh, members to this already formed triangle. Now what is going to happen is, so now the number of members that are going to be connected, uh, 
to the remaining j minus 3 joints will be 2 into j minus 3. Okay. So here we can just see. Therefore, the total number of members that are going to be there in this pin jointed plane frame will be given by m is equal to 2 into j minus 3 plus 3. So here plus 3 is nothing but the already formed members. This 2 into j minus 3 are nothing but already there are 4 joints are there. So 4 minus 3 that is 1 joint. So for this 1 joint, 2 members are required. So 2 into j minus 3 are the members that are going to be formed to connect this joint. Therefore, the total members will be 2 into j minus 3 plus this 3 members. So total members are 2j minus 3. So m is equal to 2j minus 3. So this is the m means members, j means the joints. This is the equation you are going to use for degree of static indeterminacy. So if both are equal, then it is determinate. If both are not equal, so then it will be a uh, indeterminate to some degree. Now, if you just consider an example, um, degree of static indeterminacy will be related to external indeterminacy and internal indeterminacy summation. If you just consider this pin jointed truss, so here external indeterminacy will be at this hinge support, you are going to have two reactions. Again, at this hinge also two, so total four. So three will be equilibrium equations. That is four minus three, it will be one. Now degree of internal indeterminacy will be equal to m minus 2j minus 3. So here total members are six members are there. And joints are 1, 2, 3 and 4 joints are there. So total internal indeterminacy will be 1. So now total degree of static indeterminacy will be internal plus external. That is 1 plus 1, 2. So therefore this truss is total degree of static indeterminacy for this truss will be 2. Now if you just consider another uh, one that is for uh, rigid jointed plane frame how to find the degree of static indeterminacy. So coming to the first step. So generally, if you cut any section, if you cut, if a section is cut through a beam, okay, for a frame, if you just consider, if you cut a section through a beam, then there will be a three resultants will be there, stress resultants. One will be your axial force, that is your horizontal direction. Another is shearing force, that will be your vertical direction. Another will be moment will be released. Now, these stress resultants can be found by using a equilibrium conditions that is sigma fx, sigma fi and moment uh, summation of the moment will be equal to zero. Now, if m is the number of members in a frame, if you just consider, then unknowns will be equal to three times of your number of members that is 3m. Now, if R is the number of independent reaction, comp independent components of your reaction, then the total unknowns will be equal to 3M plus R. And to obtain the equilibrium equations, we have to consider a, um, at each joint as a, by, we have to considering a, each joint as a free body. I mean, to get your equilibrium equations by, a, by considering a, each joint as a free body. Now, J means uh, it denotes the number of joints, which includes the points of reactions. So, therefore, the number of equi equilibrium equations will be 3J. So, therefore, the total degree of static indeterminacy will be equal to uh, 3 times of your members plus R will be your reaction components. In that, you are going to uh, subtract 3J. That is nothing but your... Uh, number of joints which includes the point e points of your reaction. So that means the total degree of static indeterminacy will be 3m plus r minus 3j. So for this degree of static indeterminacy, just we take an example of a single story first. So now here we can have one end as a fixed and another end is a ruler. So here DS is 3m plus r minus 3j. So members here are 3. And reaction components here are 4 and joints here are 4. So total you are having the degree of static indeterminacy to be 1. Now consider another, uh, another example. 
so which is of figure b so this is a single story frame which is having two ends to be hinged so here the degree of static indeterminacy equation is here this one and total members are three and uh, the reactions are four and the joints here are uh, again four so again it is uh, static indeterminacy is one now if you just consider a multi story uh, frame so here you can just consider members so the members here are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 15 so here the members are 15 and your reaction components are for fixed support you are having 3 so total 3 are there that is 9 and joints if you consider 1 2 3 4 so total joints of 12 joints are there so this will be indeterminacy to 18 so next coming to the next one so degree of kinematic indeterminacy for trusses so if you just consider the truss uh, for a pin jointed frames uh, for the plane frames the equation is 2j minus e and for space frames it is 3j minus e so where j is nothing but your joints and here uh, two for the plane frames is nothing but uh, for pin jointed uh, at the joint you are going to have uh, two unknowns only horizontal and vertical so that is why we are going to write 2 into j minus e is nothing but your compatibility equations so that we can all we are going to solve by existing uh, equations here for space frames in three directions you are going to have three so at each joint you are going to have three displacement so it is 3j minus e so this is the thing now for example this truss if you just consider pin jointed truss so here the joints are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6. e here is at hinge support you are having 2 uh, and at the roller support you are having 1 so total it is three compatibility conditions are there so for this three compatibility conditions so your uh, dk will be equal to 9 now coming to the next one that is degree of kinematic indeterminacy for a rigid jointed frame if you consider so for plane frames it is 3j minus e and for uh, rigid fr uh, space frames it is 6j minus e so now if j is the number of joints and e is the number of compatibility conditions now if you just consider this uh, multi story frame uh rigid jointed plane frame so total joints are 12 and uh, compatibility conditions for each fixed support is 3 so total 3 supports are there so 3 into 3 it is 9 therefore the degree of kinematic indeterminacy here is 27 so this is this is the uh, total uh, static kinematic indeterminacies for all the beams uh, frames and trusses so these are the textbooks and references these are the reference links thank you